Well, hi everyone, I'm Peter Finney of the Clarion Herald, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Sarah Zakorski, who is Director of Communications for Louisiana Right to Life. And Sarah, we just got word that the New Orleans City Council on Thursday uh, will take up a resolution uh, that will affect, uh, they, 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 they claim the, the abortion laws uh, at, as they exist in Louisiana right now. Can you kind of tell me what resolution, what the resolution calls for? Yes, the resolution, the New Orleans City Council is calling for the city of New Orleans, the district attorney, the police to essentially ignore Louisiana law and ignore the fact that the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade and not to prosecute or investigate any illegal abortions in the city of New Orleans. Now, we believe that Louisiana Rights Life that our law will stand at the end of the day. Um, I do think it, it will be enforced, um, but they're just essentially invested in abortion, of course, and they wanna see abortion continue in, this, in the city of New Orleans. So I think this is what this resolution is about and what you see in this resolution. They refer to abortion as abortion care. It's a part of economic and social equality. So they equate abortion to a social good, essentially. Um, they praise, it's basically praising abortion, saying that women in the city of New, New Orleans need abortion, kind of like this um, sanctuary city for abortion. That's what, the kind of message I get after reading the resolution. And let's be clear, Sarah, uh, Louisiana state law, uh, right now, abortion is illegal and it, it, it criminalizes it for the physician, correct? But not, but not for the woman? It never criminalizes it for the woman, absolutely not. It does not criminalize it for the woman. Okay. Uh, what, what effect would uh, the passage of this resolution have uh, on the state of the law in Louisiana? You know, I think it's possible it could make it harder to enforce in the city of New Orleans. Um, and we definitely have to keep our eye on that. But I don't think in the end of the day, you know, it's up to the Department of Health. It's up to um, the state of Louisiana to enforce the law. So I think, it, and the Attorney General, I think the law still will be enforced. I think this might make it more difficult. But at the end of the day, I still think our law will stand. Uh, did you have any inkling that this might be happening, uh, might be coming? I did not have an inkling this would happen. I'm not surprised though with the makeup of the New Orleans City Council and the fact that New Orleans is probably the most abortion friendly part of the state. Um, so I, in that way we can say it's not unexpected. So I understand there'll, it'll be a hearing. Uh, they'll, be, uh, they'll be taking comments from the public on each side. So people yeah. could actually go to the city council chambers and, and put in a card to make comments, correct? So 10 a.m., the hearing starts at 10 a.m. 1300 free Perdido and absolutely New Orleans residents can come and make comment and we're encouraging all pro-life New Orleans New Orleanians to come and and give a comment opposing this resolution because they really need to hear from people that live in the city of New Orleans that we want to protect them in life and that we are pro-life and as you know the majority of Louisianians are pro-life um so we're hoping that we'll have people coming for that I see and will Louisiana right to life be represented as part of the hearing uh do you know I'm not sure yet, but we have done everything that we can to contact each of our council members to inform them that we oppose this resolution. I see. And uh, are any other updates on other legal uh, matters? I know that uh, uh, the attorney general of the state uh, has, has has made some maneuvers there. And what, what's, what's the latest that, that you've heard? Yes, he's petitioned the Louisiana Supreme Court to essentially dismiss the lawsuit they filed, the Hope Medical Group filed. I think that was last week. Um, so he's asking for dismissal of that, you know, in the lawsuit from Hope, they allege that our Louisiana law is vague um, and essentially asked for us, asked to continue to want to continue to perform abortions until that's ironed out. Um, but the attorney general went ahead and petitioned the, the, the Louisiana Supreme Court to dismiss that. Okay. And this July 8th uh, hearing uh, with the judge, that's still going on as far as you know? As far as we know, that's on Friday. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. Anything else that, uh, anything new that uh, you want to report in the last few days? What kind of response you've gotten from people in the community or just anything that's, that's, that's going on? You know, I'd say there's a lot of um, questions about what's going on in Louisiana with Louisiana's law and with this lawsuit, but I would just encourage everyone that we trust in time, whether that's through the appellate court, the state court, that our law is going to stand. And we're very excited and optimistic and thrilled that the Supreme Court overturned Roe versus Wade and we're on the right track to a pro-life and pro-life pro future here in Louisiana. Well, Sarah, thank you very much for explaining the situation to us and, and uh, we're pleased you could join us today. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks for having me.